Hello, Untamed Television fans. How nice of you to join us today. We are joined by Dr. Travis Sauter, yeah. who is a DPM, and maybe you can explain what DPM is. Yes, uh, Doctor of Podiatric Medicine. It's a, a medical degree where we specialize in foot and ankle medicine and surgery right. during our training. Right, and we're going to talk today about foot and ankle injuries. We've got other topics that are going to come as, as we kind of mm -hmm. roll these out. But today yeah. we're talking specifically foot and ankle injuries. But it might be important for people to know your background to start with. Yes, I, um, I have been in practice for 11 years. Um, I uh, went to medical school out in Iowa and then yeah. moved on and did uh, a residency training in foot and ankle surgery in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Um, Following that, I had a short uh, time. I practiced with a multi-specialty group up in Idaho. And then uh, the last nine years of my practice have been in the Bay Area of California. I worked for Kaiser, which is a, a, a big uh, healthcare organization right. there. So yeah, I, I currently practice uh, with uh, cook foot and ankle specialists. Uh, it's a, okay. uh, it's a, uh, a two doctor practice, uh, Greg Cook and myself. We have locations in Logan uh, and also in Brigham City. Right. And so that is, uh, uh, we had an opportunity to come back home, closer to home, and we're, I'm really excited to be there. Get back in these beautiful mountains. Absolutely. Not that the Bay Area was probably not a bad place to be. We had a wonderful run, but it was, uh, <laughs> it is, this is where, where this is where home feels. Right, so, yeah, right. Yeah. Well, our topic today is we're talking about foot and ankle injuries, which is a good topic because it appeals to a lot of people because there's a lot of people out there yeah. whose kids are in sports. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of people that are, you know, my age. I don't want to tell you how old I am, but, yeah. you know, they still like to ski. They like to bike and those sorts of things. And occasionally sure. stuff goes wrong. And that's mm -hmm. when they come to see you. Yeah. You know, that it, it does, those types of things keep us busy. Uh, you know, they say in the, in the emergency rooms, uh, orthopedic injuries, probably 50% of them are foot and ankle related. Really? Yeah. That high? Yeah. So that high. It, well, it makes sense because <laughs> where do you spend your time? Oh, On yeah. your foot and your, and your yeah, ankles, Yeah, right? exactly. Exactly. So, yeah, th those uh, there, there's many things that, uh, that we kind of cover in that arena of foot and ankle injuries. Uh, probably the most common is an ankle sprain. Yeah. Right. And so how do you know? I mean, this is one of those basic questions. How... Mm -hmm. Like if I get hurt, like riding my mountain bike or something like that, how, I mean, what's a good rule of thumb to know if it's sprained or if it's broken? Well, uh, typically if it's sprained, uh, although it will be painful, you're generally able to put some weight on it. Okay. Um, it, it those rules don't always apply, but uh, you typically can put some weight on it. You may have felt a little bit of a pop. Um, the ankle's not deformed. You can still put weight on yeah. it. It's straight. But it'll it'll swell and bruise pretty quickly, and it's important to uh, get some medical attention, even for something that would, you know, some someone would say, well, it's just a sprain, you'll get over it. Right. But it's actually important to to seek care for those injuries. Right, and I imagine that breaks can be rather complicated because I don't think most people until okay, you guys out there, mm -hmm. call up on your Google right now. Look yeah. at an X-ray of a foot and look at how many different bones there are. You probably know how many different. Yeah, bones no, are. absolutely. You know, there's uh, you know 26 bones really uh, in in the foot and ankle. Um, you know, you you count uh, a couple little smaller bones that sit up underneath the big toe, and that that number jumps up to 28. Right. But uh, yeah, no, it's a complex structure, um, and and what we find, unfortunately, is a lot of people with foot and ankle injuries, uh, kind of, uh, especially with ankle sprains, if you will, they say that they'll, you know, you'll get over it, or they may visit an emergency room, uh, be diagnosed with a sprain, and um, and kind of leave it at that. But down the road, if they're not uh, doing well within the, the first uh, four to six weeks, um, and things aren't getting better, it could point to some more serious things that are going on that maybe a normal x-ray didn't pick up. Uh -huh. So it's important uh, to, to follow up on those injuries with, with a specialist if they're just not getting better in a timely fashion. Four to six weeks is yeah, a reasonable typically, amount of time. Typically, uh, beyond that points to maybe some, some other things that just uh, uh, our, our injuries are going to be chronic or nag at you and, and won't get better. Right. So where do you start when someone comes in and says, you know, I, I, if fell off my, I, I fell off my trampoline a couple yeah. of weeks ago yeah. and, and yeah. it's just, it doesn't feel right. I don't know. Yeah. Well, you know, the first thing that we want to do is uh, make an evaluation uh, where we can basically assess the the mobility of the joint, the amount of swelling, um, 
and also get x-rays and yeah, take take sure. simple x-rays to to see if if it points to anything more serious um, and and then uh, oftentimes if the x-rays don't really show anything serious we can uh, move on to some things such as bracing mm -hmm. even physical therapy to maybe help that person get over the the hump so to speak and get get back to to function because what what we want to do is get people back to their active lifestyle you know right. uh, the goal is is to, to get them back as soon as possible uh, now if we're lucky enough to get them early in the process we can often help them prevent more serious problems from occurring but sometimes we see people that are kind of the folks that say, oh, it'll get better, it'll get better, and this is now six months down the road, and then we have to, to think about some other things uh, that may be going on and may have to get things such as MRIs to make a better diagnosis. I imagine you <clears throat> probably see pe people with injuries that are years old. Yes, yes. Uh, you know, people, many people are very tough and stoic and, 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 and get by as best they can. Depending on their activity level, we tend to see active uh, individuals a little bit earlier because it's really hampering their lifestyle but folks that maybe aren't quite as active uh, tend to maybe delay the, in coming in right you know, you know and the funny thing is is you, you say active but you don't have to you don't have to be a sports person to, no. to, to have this happen to you. I mean, you live in a rural area, yeah. and there's a lot of people jumping in and out of trucks and walking oh, along yeah. ditches and all that kind of stuff that can get yeah. hurt. Or, I mean, yeah. you can get hurt just walking across your Oh, no, it's room. true. No, and these, yeah, it does, it's not just the elite athlete. I mean, it can, it can be anybody, uh, like you said, tripping over their kid's toy down the stairs is very common you know winter's coming and you know that that I, the icy weather and the icy, right, that's right. icy yeah. sidewalks um so yeah no it, it can happen to, to any of us just even with uh, normal daily activities right. so and in most of it if it, i mean if it's pretty severe the er will probably catch it yeah um, it fractures definitely so a, a broken know. ankle is typically pretty obvious uh and then uh, they they definitely will get that person uh, specialized care uh to see if it requires a surgical procedure to fix it or not right you know? it's those mysterious things right? yeah the one that's like i don't i don't know they yeah. didn't they did they said it wasn't broken right. but it wasn't yeah it's that chronic nagging injury that we often uh, see months down the road that needs attention you know and and that can be uh like you said conservatively treated we definitely attempt uh, all the conservative treatments first mm -hmm. but sometimes it does lead on to things uh, like surgery uh and for the chronic ankle sprain that didn't get better a lot of times it's a, a some cartilage damage uh that his uh the, the, when the bones uh, in that ankle sprain or twisting process sometimes a little cartilage gets chipped away mm. or ligaments yeah. are torn that just are not reattaching themselves well and we can fix those things uh, and, and oftentimes very minimally invasive uh, such as arthroscopic procedures. Uh, Arth you have a guy named Arthur there that does yeah, this? I'll tell you. <laughs> what does that mean? Arthroscopic actually? is actually a procedure that's done through small incisions. Uh, in the front of the ankle, we can do a small incision, enter the joint with a camera, take a look inside and really get a, a feel for what's going on, and then through another small incision, have instruments go in and clean up any damaged tissues. Wow. Uh, we can even repair ligaments through these small incisions. Wow. Uh, and if you have uh, one of those uh, a cartilage injuries where there's a little pothole or cavity in the bone from that old injury, we can actually go in and repair that uh, with uh, with uh, uh, new new cartilage uh, 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 that, mm -hmm. that is that is out there. There's advancing technologies, and we have the ability to basically patch those little little spots in the bone that were missing from an old injury. So that's really interesting. Yeah, that yeah. you know, you answered my next question. I was going to say, so what's new in technology yeah. for doing this? Yeah, but. and I think what's what's uh, what's great now is that with medicine, more and more, we're able to do things uh, much. Uh, less invasively and what I mean by that is we don't have to open through large incisions we can go through smaller incisions uh, we use techniques that allow the patient to have less pain uh, less swelling uh, and just a quicker recovery after surgery and so some of those new advances as I mentioned is is where we have cartilage basically the the building blocks of cartilage which we need in our joints uh, we're able to to have that as a, as a product that that can be used as a patch uh, for or an area that your body is now missing a piece so to speak and we can resurface those areas no kidding yeah man so yeah. this is this is a great new field yeah yeah there's a lot there's a lot of neat things now that are available to us to once again just trying to get people you know because uh, the hard thing about foot and ankle is oftentimes with these injuries we need people to be off their foot 
And what happens when you're off your foot and you can't be active? Right. Well, it's, it can be depressing. There can be weight gain. There right. can just be uh, Lose time at work difficulties with things, work. Yeah. And, and so our goal is to try to get people back uh, in the least amount of pain and, 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 and hopefully with, with the least amount of trouble for their life and work. So right. that's the goal. We, yeah, that's the goal. So if you're sitting out there on the on your couch right now, yeah. and one of the reasons you're sitting is you've got this old injury, and it's just is kind of hard to stand. You need to see a specialist, and yeah. you yeah. need to see a yeah. DPM, hey. just like Dr. <laughs> Travis Sider right there here with us. Again, uh, the name of your practice? Cook Foot and Ankle Specialist. So um, phone number? Yes, uh, 435-752-9011. There you go. Yeah. So if you're sitting out there on the couch right now and you're watching this show, and one of the reasons you're sitting is because your foot or your ankle hurts and it's been that way for, you know, six months, ten years, something like that, give Dr. Sauter a call. Give him a shot at it. Let him take a look. I'll bet he can make you feel better. Untamed Television fans, thanks for joining us today. Craig Bielik, your host, and my guest today, Dr. Travis Sauter, who is a DPM. Look it up. Okay, thank you. All right.